What's up folks, Rafi here with another episode of Random YouTube Search. Okay, so today uh, the word type, we're gonna stick with all. Okay, we've never done this one before, uh, which I believe are the nouns and verbs and adjectives combined. Maybe that's what this is, I believe. Okay, so uh, let's do three words. Okay, uh, let's get to it. Three, two, one. Okay, so we got grateful, gradient, and illusion. All right, on to our very first video for episode five. So we got grateful, gradient, and illusion. My guess is we're going to be getting a video about a magician. Let's see if I'm right. I'm never right. Uh, I recreated a luxury techwear jacket on a budget. Do it yourself, gradient die. 8,800 views, eight days ago. This is Antoine. Using a nine pound 99 eBay jacket by Merrill, I attempted to recreate the iconic look of the gradient dyed acronym Neiman. Okay, so. That sounds interesting, okay. Uh, video is 11 minutes long. Okay, so it looks like he's gonna be recreating an expensive uh, jacket. Hey, what's up? This is on a budget, Lightyear. okay. Something this I've is- Something more and more mm -hmm. interested in recently is the idea Wait, what? of- Wait, what? What is it? Babe, come sleep in the cyberpunk nightmare bed. What? Okay. Why fashion? After all, why okay. buy something off the shelf when you can change- <laughs> That's a funny meme. Pineapple and- corn oh i wish we we're gonna do stuff like this come on antoine something existing let's to do it what you're after often it's cheaper it's better for the environment and that you're giving something old new life okay you get the opportunity to make something recycle more unique or personal to your requirements and i think there's a little bit of satisfaction in making something yourself that is different to everything yeah. else. Yeah, great work, sweetie. Ago, Let's put a on the fridge. Sneakers and gave them a total makeover okay. in the previous work style that you might associate with the 11 by BBS Bamba line, saving ourselves I hundreds see. of dollars in the process. And this time wow. we're going to go a level okay, further so and attempt to recreate one of the most iconic jackets in modern shoes. technical now fashion. Now it's jacket the time. Acronym and Neman collaboration J28. Okay. Available in an array of what? different hand dyed What is this? Is that a remote control? What is, what is on the effect. neck? The combination of dyeing and ultra modern pocket heavy design makes them a super What's with these interesting pocket? jacket. It just. But being over five years old and so iconic those... means it's, that it's they just are looks kind of ugly. Hard to find these days and rather expensive when they do. To what? Two thousand leads us to this video. Wait, two thousand eight hundred dollars for those jackets? Are you serious? Let's see how much he's gonna be spending to recreate this. The first this. thing we're gonna need is a jacket, the yep. base product to apply this effect to. Let's do it. I Framework. To find, and I did yeah, there's give so up much stuff times. on eBay. However, eventually, I did come across a real diamond Your head in spins. the sea of liquid excrement, a early 2000s bird watching jacket. No Nine ninety nine. And clearly, nobody shared my enthusiasm for ten. Nobody else bid on it. Mine. And a few days later, the jacket itself here showed we go. up, and I've got it here. Immediately, you can see... Legit looks yes, way better than the muddy of picks. Futuristic as the J28K. That but looks it's got pretty a good. pretty cool multi-pocket array at the front. That is and nice. Even once this has some color on it, it should change the look what? of it quite dramatically. What was that, chips? And, uh, yeah, I'm quite excited about giving this a go. Massive thanks to Promotion. them. Promotion. I went on their website. They have an absolutely massive selection Whoa. of colors. Ah, my eyes. Recipes of the different dyes. It's a lot of colors. Combined to get those colors. I was thinking it would be cool to replicate this colorway of the J28K. Okay, so we're it's probably what? is this it looks like a, a button for remote control it's kind of sloppy jacket so with all of that our expensive one purchased it's time to die time to die let's do it Welcome all right to the dying zone i once again i'm joined by all right in the alleyway yeah it's about a three to one ratio so all right there's the formula it's just eyeballing it because i'm an agent of ah Ritz His messages are too to quick. Yep. Yeah, you don't want to do this jacket, in the kitchen for sure. For a couple of hours total, Color test. I think we're off to a good start, and you can see one shoulder is being left out of the dye. Yeah, we're off to a pretty good start here. What? 
What's that? I almost forgot the bonus fruit. Is creating stripes rather than a nice what is that? Why did he throw so apples in there? Manage that. I'm trying to 10 to 15 minutes. Man, time is this going to work? That bottom corner should totally be time and nice die was about 90 minutes. Nice deep take the die quite is this going to work? Although it's got different no, colors this doesn't seem the right way to do the gradient. To dry overnight and Curious to hear. Right here, so grade this even more. Yeah, I don't think it's ready yet. It definitely Too many spots. Which is inspiration though, which is a shame. But the top pocket. This, this, this doesn't look green at all. Fifteen minutes, whereas bearing in mind when you were yeah. doing this kind of project, the material matters. The is also quite uneven. You can see multiple areas across yeah. this jacket, over the arms, and on the main body where this is the case. Yeah, there's the problem this is here. See? We used a bucket for this, so the jacket yeah, was that's a bit the screwed up in there. Different parts would have been touching, and less dye can reach the bucket. Is the areas. problem? I quite like this effect personally because it makes the jacket look more but a notable yeah, but it doesn't look great to be honest the Arcteric system A collection had a couple of jackets in oh, the last no. that did have this kind of effect really? a more even color, you're mixing it well open the whole thing up come on so let's see the whole jacket kind of set as a uh -huh. of it being fully folded scrunched up inside the collar and with the A6 why well, don't you try why, why, why you should have gotten two of those jackets and, were a lot lighter. But now and that all important try it one more time now that you know how to do it better right I thought he's going to do more than Dying. And it does still have yeah, some visibility. Yeah, she got two jackets. See it, which of course is really nice. It definitely gives a hint of this not being a standard off-the-shelf product. And of course, the hood goes along. It looks like it's wet. Well, like this part is wet. Color. And this <laughs> right, effect. and this part there's no rain. Can fit into an outfit in a similar way to the J28K would. It, it just in looks sense, off. This has been kind of a success, especially what? when we take into account the fact. I don't that think this so. Is orders of magnitude cheaper than. Uh, I mean, yes, like I get really. that, this but just over ten dollars equivalent for the jacket itself. We used about thirty dollars of materials as well. What else could we do to this jacket to make the, it another color? Add another color. Right. Now, the obvious answer is you could dye this again. We could use a deeper green color or and another color. Dye the bottom half, yeah. for example. It really was mega easy, and we turned something that was almost yeah. worthless into, in my opinion, a fairly cool and interesting item that is literally unique. And there's a lot of value in being able Rare to do that. So I don't want to hear anyone one say, one oh, I could never have a cool technical jacket. Because this is way more interesting. This particular run doesn't look good. I think if he tried it again, it would have been much better. Or another laminated fabric. And let me know in the comments what you thought of this jacket. Is this something you cool. consider doing for yourself? If you like this video, you want to see more of this kind of content. We're doing something a bit more experimental. Some yeah. DIY stuff. Definitely let me know. That is mega helpful. But that's everything I have to say for this awesome. week on this cool, not quite acronym J28K. And as um, always, we'll see you very soon. For the yeah, next let's video. pause that and I will give this guy a thumbs up. Yeah, it's interesting. All right, on to the ratings. All right, so first up, we got entertainment. So these types of videos, these uh, do-it-yourself kinds, are really well suited for the platform uh, it just goes hand in hand uh, this particular one has a really good host uh, well spoken uh, he was able to keep my attention throughout the whole video so well done I would give it a three out of five all right next up is production and this video is uh, well done uh, well edited audio everything just works fine no problems at all except it is short it is 10 minute so i can only give it a two out of five now on my scale i do consider length to matter uh, especially when it comes to production if it's let's say an hour long video with this quality yeah sure it can get a five out of five all right and on to education now this video is basically for a very niche audience which is fine um, it does go over how to go about it and like where to get the jacket um, and what dyes to use and how to use it but I did find the end result disappointing. Maybe because he was using a bucket to dye it. I'm not sure. It just didn't look particularly good, the jacket at the end. But at least you get an idea of what to do. 
Okay, so the very best I can do uh, for education is give it a 2 out of 5. But overall, we are off to a good start and hope we can uh, continue this trend. All right, on to the next set of words. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. Okay, we got sit, band, and glass. All right, time for our second video. So we got sit, band, and glass. Uh, maybe somebody who works with glass and, you know, makes those glass ornaments, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. We got sing, 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 sit, band. Okay. Uh, this is, I, is this, uh, I don't know if it's Chinese. I think it's Japanese. Okay. Uh, looks like it's a three minute video, some kind of band, dancing and playing. Okay. Well, let's take a look and see what this is all. Oh, here we go. Okay. So we got a large theater. Sing, sing, sing. Okay. There we go. Sounds familiar. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a, uh, I think it's like a forties. 30s or 40s song, I think. I've, I've heard of this in probably some movies, I'm guessing. Yeah. Everybody's clapping. The audience is enjoying it, it seems. Okay. Looks like this. Looks like there's a lot more females. And they're dancing at the same time, so that's something. Sit band. Okay. 290 likes. Okay. Oh, solo. Here we go. It does look a little bit strange uh, seeing Asians playing... I guess this is like American jazz, right? I, I never would have thought they would like this kind of music, but... Yeah, what do I know? Hey, look at these ju guys jumping it up here. <laughs> did, did more people just got in here? It looks like there's more people now. Okay, now they're now they are a lot. They're like a hundred at least, right? I love the drums. Yeah, good cho choreography. Yeah, probably some kind of uh, school here. The crowd is still clapping. They're enjoying this. I wonder if these band members actually get part of the cut from the tickets, or is it just the school gets all the money? Oh, sh there she is with a plunger. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, this is kind of harder than it looks just because they're dancing. Look at that. They are a lot. Official sit band. Okay, so we are on the official uh, channel. Okay. Man, look at that. They are a lot. Okay. Sit band dancing and playing. All right. Uh, Hokkaido Sapporo. Let me pause that. I guess a second. Let me see what it said. I just want to read there. Okay. So intercultural. Okay. So that's probably what it stands for. Sapporo Intercultural and Technological High School Band. Okay. That's probably what it stands for. Sit band. Sapporo. Isn't that like a Japanese beer? 
maybe that's their sponsor. <laughs> okay, what does it say here? Let's see. Oh, these are like the, the prices, I guess. Uh, classical play team and full. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look, look at it. They're, they're a huge group. And this is their Gmail. If you want to send them a message. Awesome. All right. Time for the ratings. First up, we got entertainment and that's really this video's purpose uh, especially for the people in the audience there listening to live music it's a large band it does its job you know it does a really good job of playing those instruments sounds really good uh choreography is great they're dancing you know they're having a good time uh i enjoyed it uh, the only thing is, it is a little bit short because this video itself is just one song they played. Um, so the best I can do for entertainment is a 3 out of 5. Now, if it was a longer video, maybe 20 minutes of them playing nonstop, then it, it might have gotten higher score. All right, next up is production. Okay, so this is a little bit tricky for these types of videos because it's like we are watching a live show that is intended for the audience specifically and not really us as uh as youtube watching it on youtube right but because it's an official channel i do consider the video part of the production now if it was let's say somebody in the audience recording this with the phone that i wouldn't consider that part of the production right it's not gonna get a like high score because hey it's a nice they're recording a great band with their phones it's gonna get a zero but in this case it is part of the official channel so because of that the best I can give production is a 4 out of 5. And the only reason it's going to lose a point is because it is short. Again, I'm just rating this clip, not the whole band as a whole, right? If it was a longer video, probably gotten a 5. Okay, and finally, we got education. All right, so this video's purpose is entertainment. It's not made to teach you how to play the instruments. Uh, right is just to watch and have a good time but I guess for people who already play these instruments this video might come come handy they might learn a few notes here and uh, maybe some some choreography uh, so it does have some uh, education purpose I would give it a one out of five and we got two decent videos back to back let's keep this momentum going guys all right moving on to our third search okay so so far so good uh word type yeah the all right that's the one we're doing here all right three two one okay we got need relinquish and perform all right time for video number three and so far we've been having a pretty good episode okay so up next we got need relinquish and perform yeah my guess is another performance perhaps right well let's take a look and see we got mass effect 2 okay it's a video game i'll relinquish one bullet where do you want it Five thousand eight hundred views eight years old it's 13 seconds long. Sam the man. Oh, sh shit. Welcome to the purgatory. Oh, it's just a scene from a game. What? Why? You need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. Relinquish your weapon. Okay. I'll relinquish one bullet. That's it? Why make a video? I'll relinquish one bullet. Is that supposed to be, what, like a great line or something? Sam the man, come on. 
Why? This is probably the most badass line in the history of gaming. This line is better than the entirety of Mass Effect Andromeda. All right, I'm going to sum up the ratings in three words. No, no, no. Okay, we just hit a freight train, but I believe we can recover. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. Experienced, continental, and hobby. All right, we are moving on to video number four. Okay, I got a good feeling about this one. Experienced, continental, and hobby. What can we get from this? Um, some, I don't know. I have no idea. Really. Okay, so okay, so it looks like the first video we got is a shorts, and I do not uh, watch shorts. Okay, so we'll skip this, and we'll head to this one right here. Right here. Experience the Continental Divide Trail in ten minutes. Okay, 65,000 views seven months ago by through hikers. Okay, the Continental Divide Trail, the CDT, is a 3,000 mile national scenic trail like the Pacific Crest Trail. Okay, so wait, what? Okay, let, let's see what this is. How long was this? 10 minutes. Okay. Here we go. This is where we start walking north to Canada. Wait, what? What is it? To Canada? Wait, from Mexico? You're gonna walk, hike from Mexico to Canada? What? Really? Hello for mile 300 on the Continental Divide Trail. We're time for. Wow, people do this? Why? Then they never heard of buses? Uh, Greyhound, hello. We're set on the way to 3,000 miles and the Canadian border. Wow. We started at the Mexican border in the okay. Chihuahuan Desert okay. of so New Mexico the desert. and quickly learned that everything is pointy and shade is hard to find. This will have to do. We had to share water with cattle, bit. but the beautiful desert scenery made it all worthwhile. Wow, cattle. Our bodies held up well. We started with uh, low miles, stretched, wow. and always remembered to put on sunscreen. We cowboy camped under the stars this is just and crazy. had amazing sunrises and sunsets every day. Brush your tooth. We only encountered one rattlesnake who had just eaten a mouse and didn't want to move. We both got some blisters, but they didn't stop. What? Oh my god, look at that. That is... Oh, bestie. Next, we transitioned bestie. to the New Mexico mountains and trees started to appear. God. We hiked through remote areas. This is just insanity. We saw bears, elk, and more. We resupplied three times, but only showered once. Can't wait to see showered what's in once. Store on oh. the next 90% of the trail. Stinky. Yeah, I guess hiking like this. Ah, uh, smell is We're not your concern. We're 600 on the Continental Divide Trail. We've hiked 20%. I bet you at the end, this guy's going to have a beard all the way here. Less oh, 300 windy. miles started with strong winds and challenging cross country travel with no trail. We resupplied in three different towns. Take a bus! We saw tons of wildlife, including black oh bears, God, greater shorthorn lizards, and as we got to volcanic areas, oh, that's a good looking colorful lizard. collared lizards. It's more flows. than a thousand years old and connects Oh man, to watch out, that thing's gonna fall on you. A coma. We what met that? up with what our CDT friend Dirty Money, who's also hiking the CDT this year. What? We Dirty Money? A few thunderstorms. This is how we stay dry in the rain. Dirty money's joining them? My feet explode oh, no. in many blisters. No. But with treatment and oh rest, they're getting better. We continued that thing sharing gushed. water with cattle and even had a few water caches in the dry section. Water cache. All in all, oh. another great 300 miles. I think that's like other hikers leaving water for others, I guess. I think. Right? Good morning. I never hiked in my life. We've completed 30% of our hike from Mexico to Canada. But it seems the last 300 miles fun if you're crazy, I guess. Transition. We left the high desert behind and headed into the green New Mexico mountains. After New Mexico. In the first 600 miles, 
water became abundant. After we crossed the border oh, yeah. into Colorado, the oh, mountain alcohol immediately became snow covered. What the happened? Snow meant even wow. more water, and keeping our feet dry became All of a sudden, we got snow. We enjoyed camping and hiking with others. And the okay, so they met others. Our That's new good. tent kept us warm and cozy, and also protected us from bugs. We resupplied yeah. three times yes. and enjoyed Spiders. town food. Canada. Forty percent of the way, baby. The biggest challenge in the last three hundred. Oh, now it's rain, man. The elements hail, are after them. Snow. Oh my God, hail! Hail Mary! But as spring gave way to summer, the large snowflakes started it's like, to melt. This meant it's more like water they're crossing. Going through the seasons here. Some broken gear during the stretch, more shoes, huh? shoes and hiking pole yeah. tips. All right, so now they were in Colorado. Now they're going to Wyoming. We're standing at the 1500 mile mark. Halfway. Okay. We're halfway done with our hike. Summiting the highest point on trail. This, this whole thing's gonna take. I wonder. Too. What are those? These guys were quite used goats? to people. Weather at the top can be challenging, and the descents weren't necessarily wow. any easier Dangerous than the climbs. Too. But the views and high elevation lakes. Yeah, the views are crazy. Weekend. During this stretch, we also Man, bumped sleeping on TikTokers, including boulders. Chattahoochee and Wilmette for show. 1,200 to we go. We loved Wyoming's diverse landscape over the lake, but we managed to sneak in some swimming. More swim. cattle just got a cold. loose, but kept powering. Got a cold. Next, we climbed up into Man. the Wind River Range, which featured the fortitude on these guys. and alpine lakes. All right, next stop. Let's see where we're we going. Idaho. We've walked seventy percent of the way from Mexico wow. to Canada. Wow. Hello. From so Ohio. far, twenty-one hundred miles. On That's crazy. Hey, his beard is the same. I thought his beard's gonna grow. Three states and one What's national on? park. We left Wyoming. Is he trimming his beard? Why? Toward Yellowstone National Park. We had some cold, rainy weather, but kept warm. Man, look at that weather. Coffee. We saw three More grizzly coffee. bears. Then grizzly we bears. Isn't that kind of dangerous? What if the bears attack you? Features like geysers. Hello, geyser. We found a bathtub Somebody's down happy. stream where we had a great time swimming oh, that's and drinking cool. coffee. Now even more geysers. Then we made it to our fourth oh, state. Oh man! Hello, Idaho. That was a big one. Idaho. Idaho. That, okay, I'm gonna make, to make a joke state. about that name. Montana. Idaho. I'm gonna Another make a joke. Great 300 miles on the Oh, I don't got anything. Okay, what's next? We've walked 80 percent of the way from Mexico to Canada. Hello, wow, 600 to go. These guys are crazy in a good way, I guess. Until an obstacle pushed us into just one. The CDT snaked along I, I can, Montana. I mean, I could do this. While walking the border, we were craving bread, right? which is not a typical backpacking food, but we picked some up anyway. So we continue to see tons of wildlife, including That's deer, cool. pronghorn, and elk. We powered Shoot our one. way up some hot climbs Cook. with trail iced coffee. To make it, we mixed cold filtered spring water with a packet of sugar yeah. and some instant coffee. I have instant a painful coffee. crack in my foot. And Ooh. We're always dealing with minor Man. cuts, bruises, and bug bites. We were swarmed by oh, flying what ants. Is the we flying ants? Who does a flying ant? And some smoky days. There were two wildfires burning on trails, so we had Fire to walk down into Man. Montana's valley to like detour around them. These guys know our adventure. My adventure is like going to the park with the kids. That's my adventure. Thanks for following along. Only 600 miles to Canada. 600 miles to Canada. You crazy kids. Bags, so we hung the excess using traditional bear hangs. We saw lots what does that do? The bear hang? What does that do? So bears don't get your food? We entertained ourselves while walking bear with tracks. conversations that revolved around food. If you could eat anything right now, what would you eat? Do you think there's a Taco Bell in Butte? Fall colors have Taco arrived Bell. in Montana, and we woke up to frost on the tent a couple of times. Well, we celebrated Tim's birthday on trail. They don't have Taco Bell in Canada, so you're going the wrong way, bro. We're burning so many calories out here that extra food is the Fritos. best gift imaginable. After I hate Fritos, miles, but I like those ones. The, the twist, and the barbecue, whatever. Fifth and final pair of shoes. More for shoes. Following along. We only have 300 miles to go. So we got 300 miles to go. Come on, you can do it. What if they give up? Like we right, just completed right before. our walk all the way from Mexico to Canada. Yeah. So Hello now they are in Canada. Mile marker on the Continental Divide Trail. The final 300 miles of our hike included and they're still alive. two countries and one national park. Even though our goal was in sight, we tried to stay Man. in the moment and enjoy each uh, day as it came. That's a couple that's gonna be together dirty forever. Money and hike together through the end. Dirty money's the back. Of us headed into the remote bush. was full of wildlife, including bighorn sheep, okay. moose, and fearless Ooh, sprouts. The moose is loose. Less than five miles to go. Four, three. Two. Two. One. Almost there. They They're done. They this did was an it. Unforgettable four and a half is months. that dirty money? The countdown to our next big adventure has now begun. Unreal. That is crazy. Amazing and crazy. There you go. Thumbs up for sure. Alright, on to the ratings. And 
we ended up going from the worst video to probably the best. Okay, so first up we got entertainment and th this trek from Mexico to Canada, condensing it in 10 minutes is genius. You get to see the highlights and you get an idea of what they're going through and the difficulty. I was just glued to my screen from beginning to end. It's just pure joy. Now, the only reason I'm gonna make, I'm, it's gonna lose one point is very personal. It's because I myself am not really into uh, the outdoors and hiking and all that. And that's that. That's the only reason. But it got me really interested and opened up my eyes. So it will get a four out of five. All right. Moving on to the production. Okay. So this is another situation where the journey itself is part of the production uh, because this is an official channel. So. Uh, Obviously, going through the wilderness and seeing all these beautiful uh, places, it, it just adds to the production value instantly, right? Now, uh, I was going to give this a 5 out of 5, but um, there's just a few little things holding it back. Okay, first, it's the vertical aspect ratio. I'm just not a fan of it now i understand why they did it i get it but it just loses some clarity and scope uh and the other thing is it, it's obviously they filmed this themselves with, with their phone i guess and it's not a professional camera crew filming it right uh to give it more like this grander but it, uh, of course, it is amazing video here. Um, the best I can do is a four out of five. All right, moving on to the education. And uh, you know, I did learn quite a bit about these uh, hiking trails, uh, these just insane ones where you have to go across countries uh, from Mexico to Canada. Just, just for me, that's just crazy. But hey, there's people who enjoy it and, you know, this takes months. Uh, and, you know, I, I like the fact that the video had a handy map. So you know where they're at and how many miles left for their goal. So, uh, yeah, and also we get to see the uh, nature and the animals. So, yeah, you learn quite a bit. Okay, so education purpose, I would give it a three out of five. So overall, an amazing video and highly recommend it. Watch it, like it, and probably subscribe to them. Okay, so our final video of the episode. Uh, yeah, I'm doing one more because we had a stinker in here. And let's see what we get this time. Okay, so we were at the all, all words. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, we got forestry, mathematics, and high. Interesting. All right, moving on to our last video of the episode. So here we go. Uh, let's see uh, the words. The magic words were forestry, mathematics, and high. Hmm. My guess is we're gonna see some kids getting high in the forest, right? Cannabis. No, no. Let's see. Okay. Uh, but instead, we got protecting forests with math. Okay. How does that work? Okay, 2,200 views, three years old. Uh, Australian Mathematical Scienti S Sciences Institute. Okay, 
Uh, forest scientist Christina Aponte uses math to study and protect our forests. Hmm. Well, okay, a three minute long. Well, let's see how this works. Kind of curious here. All right. Whoa, that is a wide screen. I don't think I've ever seen that. I feel like I belong to something bigger okay. than myself. So this is professionally shot. About half of each tree is carbon, which makes okay. forest our first line of defense. It's a big tree. Against climate change. Climate change. Protecting forest with math. In field work, I use calculations okay. to work out uh, I know the math. size uh, of different one plus tree two species. Equals zero. So I know right. exactly how okay, much. Okay, some numbers. My name Christina is Cristina Ponte. Ponte. Yeah, I already knew that. I use maths to study and protect our forests. Awesome. That's good. So this is in Australia, I guess? Trees trap carbon when they grow. But when a fire sweeps across a forest, it gets released into the atmosphere. Scientists. Okay, a lot of... Uh, in our lab, we test different there. tree species. To see whoa, how they react whoa, whoa. and boost fires That's a lot or prescribe burns. I missed what she said. Sorry. As a scientist, okay, here we go. Scientist, I provide governments flex. and local authorities with all sorts of data. What is data that? To what, guide what was that white their stuff? forest Reese? management practices. All right. Timing how fast the, for, uh, the fire runs. Uh, 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 you can have cannabis, all the cannabis. data in the world, but on its own, it doesn't mean all that much. Okay. All these measurements and samples mm -hmm. help me create a forest simulation model. Simulation model. And your to make it even more How much of a genius are you? Use the infrared vision Jeez. of remote sensing satellites. Damn scientists. Whoa! Out of space. This allows me to forecast the size of the forest okay. in a couple yes, hundred years. Yes, we get it. You're smart. That's a, man, somebody had a field day <laughs> editing this thing with all these cuts. For me, Maths is a way of extracting the truth from the data. Man, didn't know math was so important. Being right. in the forest Sand reminds pit. me of how much I love what I do. I want my children to serve my passion bro. for exploring. Maths okay. is a tool to understand. Don't tell me you got kids too. Things. When did you have time to have kids? Like how You're trees like saving forests here. Seasons. But it also helps you see yeah. the bigger picture. How old the plants live How in old? harmony. How many kids you got? Three? In nature, Jeez. just like in oh, Mars, that's a busy woman. There is always something Major hubby. hidden. Alright, well thank you, ma'am. The trees are happy to have you. Where, where is this? Is this Australia? I thought Australia is a desert. Oh. Choosemath.org.au. Awesome. Thank you for that, uh, Miss Christina. All right, on to the final ratings for the episode. Uh, first up, entertainment, which really isn't this video's purpose, uh, but because it was shot so professionally, uh it was uh it engaged me you know i i really wanted to see what this was all about uh so for that the very best i can do is i can give it a one out of five all right and uh next up is production and really this is where this video shines uh it is shot so well uh, edited for his, for a three minute video, uh, it's really well made. Uh, yeah, it's only gonna lose a point because it is short. Uh, the best I could do is a four out of five. All right, and finally we got education, which I believe is really this video's purpose, but because it's a short video, we don't really get to see what she does in more detail. We, we just get like an overview of her work, which is fine, but obviously you don't learn too much. 
right? Um, so the very best I could do for education is a two out of five. Overall, pretty solid. So I'm glad we went for a fifth video here. All right, and the grand winner of the episode goes to the Continental Divide Trail in 10 minutes with a whopping 11 out of 15, which I believe makes it the highest rated video so far. Second place is the sit band. And then uh, I gave third place to the forests, uh, even though it was tied with the jacket, just because the jacket on a budget did not have a satisfying ending and then uh, fifth place we're not gonna talk about that all right and i would say this turned out to be a pretty solid episode uh, we learned a few things we were entertained so all around thumbs up now if any of you liked those videos that were featured the links are below go ahead take a look at them in all their glory and I'll see you guys on the next episode.